Welcome to Fox 33 News First at 9. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexandra Meacham. A new noise ordinance is under review by Shreveport City Council in continuing coverage. After this months long process of trying to implement a new citywide noise standard, council members and the mayor agreed to go back to the old standard already on the books, voting unanimously to uphold the mayor's veto. Mayor Tom Arsenault vetoed the city council's four to three vote last week that would have allowed for noise levels at downtown nightclubs to be able to reach 85 decibels at the site of a complaint. Arsenault favoring the original standard of 75 decibels, saying 85 was too loud for downtown bars and residents to live with. The council voted unanimously to uphold the mayor's veto. Tell me your thoughts on why I uphold the veto. So, um, number one, the mayor made it clear as to why he wanted to veto. Um, I think a lot of the misconception was um, how loud it should be at the receiving end. So once we actually looked at the origin and see what the sound level should be at the receiving end, um, we, we all came to consensus that 85 decibel was too loud at the receiving end. Councilman Alan Jackson originally supported the 85 decibel standard, but says he's comfortable with the 75 and does not plan to make any changes. Government is a moving piece. Um, we go back and forth, we negotiate, but ultimately we're trying to make the city better for everybody that's involved. Before the vote, council members asked who would enforce the noise ordinance since the purpose of updating it was to allow Shreveport police to enforce a citywide standard. Are we still utilizing SPD or the noise management personnel? The city attorney says a noise enforcement officer would be in place to analyze a business's sound layout and police would have the power of enforcement at any business in the city. There is discretion for SPD to enforce uh, uh, noise under the plainly audible standard. And the council will vote on the new noise ordinance that puts decibel levels back to 75 at the next meeting in two weeks. The council also appointed the new interim city clerk after firing the last one. Tanya Bogan was unanimously approved today to serve as the new interim city clerk after former clerk Shanerica Flemings was publicly fired during a city council vote last month. Bogan is currently the chief deputy clerk of council who has been assuming the role of clerk of council since Fleming's fire firing. She will receive the same pay for the clerk's position at the time it became vacant. In Fox safety, Shreveport 